Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Hello. Today we're going to talk about to-do list. We're going to connect to-do list to our Node.js. The idea of to-do list is basically a to-do list to track your tasks for your projects, your family, your teams, your personal things, etc. And yeah, of course they have an API that we can connect and add and read the different tasks. Okay, so let's get started. First thing first, you can start for free or log in. In my case, I'm gonna log into an account that I have created. Perfect. We're gonna go to the account, we're gonna go to settings, to integrations, and add an integration. So in here, we should have a way to get our API key, uh, developer, here. Issue a new API token, okay. Let's go again. I don't know what happened there, let's go again. Settings, integrations. Developer. Oh, you can copy API token. Okay, that's why right. it's logged in, so got a different API token. Okay, copy API token. Now we can go and develop something. Okay, so let's go to our code. Let's do npm init y. Let's create. Let's sorry. Let's install the dem. And also we're gonna install the wrapper. The wrapper is called at Todoist slash Todoist API. And I think it's called is TypeScript. I think it's, it's written in TypeScript. If you don't know, TypeScript is a uh, types in JavaScript. So basically, you have to like add the types of variables, functions, and returns of the functions, etc. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna code in JavaScript, don't worry. Uh, but we're gonna use that TypeScript, uh, right, TypeScript uh, integration. So let's do the .n. Let's have here our API key. Uh, let's create our index.js file. And we're gonna do require but then copy and then of course do this API equals uh sorry to say that equals to require do this integration. I'm a little bit suspicious of like this actually did some import this that I require, but let's just Let's see actually. We can do no index, nothing's gonna work. Okay, perfect. But it's like it didn't broke or anything. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's set up API. So const API equals to new to do list with the process dot m dot API key. Now let me see if that actually broke or not. Uh, process okay, perfect. Of course, okay. So now let's go and we're gonna do a couple of functions. We're gonna have to do a first async function get user projects. Okay, so because whenever we want to create a task, it will require us to have like a to assign a project there. So we first we need to know like. Which are the projects that I have right now? So let's do try, catch, error, console, error, error, error. And let's do const projects equals to await api dot get projects. Um, and yeah, let's return projects. Uh, let's create a function here. 
through the project because we are wait get the projects and control all the projects this perfect so these are the projects that we have so we have our project and choose this first one the charcoal so let's do let's do cost tasks equals to an await get tasks and let's send the project i think that this requires the project uh, yeah, it requires the project, of course. It requires the project. So let's send the projects zero dot id. Let's do console log tasks. And we're do a sim function get project get tasks. Project ID and then let's do a try catch here. Er, console of the er, er, er. and let's do dot tasks equal to await oh API dot get tasks and in the arguments let's say the brush ID return tasks. So let's clear this out, let's run this. And we have these tasks here. Take the productivity method quiz. Download additional blah blah blah. So yeah, that's basically okay here it's like the tasks. Download additional free tabs, plugins, blah blah. So this is like the task. And you see if it's completed false or true, etc. You know. So now let's create a task. Async function create task project ID and the task a content. So let's do try catch share console error. So let's do code create task equals to await API dot create task. And let's send the content to be the task content and then the project ID. Let's return the new task. And let's call this task. So call new task equals to await create task to be a project 0.id. I'm going to be record video console new task and click task and that function it's sorry it's our task yeah and here you have the record video that's that I created. And we have an ID here. Uh, and then let's do the last thing. It's let's do the async function mark task as completed. So we're gonna need here the task ID. A try catch error. So not there. Error. Error. And then let's do const a task completed equals to await api dot close task a with the task id return task completed so let's do get tasks after this And let's add a new git task loader. And let's do here uh, go 
completed task equal to await mark task is completed with the tasks with review task ID console log completed task console task after complete so you should be able to have like get the user project create a task get the task mark that task as completed and then get the task ready so to the result let's actually write a Let's just run it. So you can see from the list we should have a completed for this to be completed. Okay, this is true. Which task is the one that we should have completed? This one. So it's seven five two one four six. Seven five two one four six. Okay, it's not here. Oh, makes sense. So the task, as it's already completed, it's not showing on the get task. So let's actually go to our project. Let's go to the. Box I imagine got it. So, you complete as well. Yeah, there's one there deleted. It's a filter here. So yeah, that's basically how you create these tasks, mark them, mark them as, as done, so you can actually go and automatize your processes. And so, yeah. If you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and add me, send me a comment if you wanted to go into a specific project or whatever task. And yeah, see you on the next video. Bye bye.